Hi, I'm Andy with Clear Ballistics Gel. Today we're going to be remelting our gel. We have our gel here that has a bullet shot into it. So we want to make sure that it's uh, good as new. So what do we need? Well, we have a few things. We have our gel, a metal mold, and a heat source. We don't want to forget of our PPE. We have our oven mitts, eye protection, and our apron as well. It's good to also consult the included instructions and the warning card as well. So to get started, we want to make sure we don't have any foreign debris in our gel. So you want to cut into your gel and remove any foreign debris. Then after that, you want to make sure you chunk up your gel. So when you're chunking up your gel, you can either use either your hand or a knife. You can cut into your gel. So I'm just going to cut a chunk out here. As you can see, it comes apart pretty easy. I'm going to put that in the mold. Cut this section here that has the bullet. So I can get my bullet out. Dig that out. So I've got my bullet out and I'll throw that in there. Then I can just chunk this up and put it in the mold and we'll throw it into the roaster. So we have chunked up our gel. It's ready to go into the roaster. So what we want to do is remove the inside lining of the roaster. And we're going to put the mold right inside. You know, make sure you set your temperature between 250 and 270 degrees and always use the lid. You're going to want that to be in there for four hours at least. You want to check that every 15 to 30 minutes. And if there's any bubbles after four hours, make sure you leave it in there just a little longer to get rid of all the bubbles. All right, so it's been 12 hours. So it should be cool enough for us to take it out of the mold. So we're going to just check to make sure it's cool enough. Everything's cool and ready to go. So we should be able to start the demolding process. Okay, so our gel is cooled for at least 12 hours. It's ready to come out of the mold. So the easiest way to get the gel from the mold is just release it from the sides. If you work your way all the way around and then turn it on its side and just slide your hand in between the gel and the mold. And you wanna work one hand and then slide the other hand on top of that. All right, so I got most of the gel out of the mold. So what you wanna do is put one hand on the mold, the other hand on the gel and just pull it straight out, just like so. And now I have brand new block of gel ready to get shot. 